I think the single most important factor to walk away from a level one course is recognizing avalanche terrain. So when I'm recognizing an, or assessing avalanche terrain, slope angle is probably the most important factor. And 30 to 45 degrees is where most of the slab avalanches occur. Prime time slope angle for avalanche terrain is 37 to 38 degrees. Problem there is that, that if you're even an intermediate skier, that's exactly the terrain that's the most fun to recreate and ski on. What does an avalanche path look like on the map, and what does it look like in real life? And then how do you and your group travel through avalanche terrain? You know, can you recognize these things ahead of time and say to your friends, all right, we're going to regroup here, have a look at this territory, see if this is the appropriate place to go. If we're going to go there, how are we going to manage ourselves in this terrain? Do we go one at a time and how do we communicate? So a terrain trap is a, a feature that is going to increase the consequences of being caught in an avalanche. Examples of terrain traps would be uh, a gully. In a gully, the snow from an avalanche is going to pile up much more deeply than if it runs out onto a gradual slope. Um, trees can act as terrain traps, cliff bands, crevasses any sort of a flat bench, anything that is going to increase the consequences of being caught in a slide. I don't have to worry about snowpack and weather and things like that if I'm not going into avalanche terrain, but as soon as I enter avalanche terrain, then I need to think about all those, you know, what does our snowpack look like? How's the weather influencing that? And is my group prepared to make this decision? And if there's uncertainty, it's, it's always, we can always turn and just choose simpler terrain.